Hello and welcome to Oz Scale Modeling. And welcome to this unboxing video. And we'll just bring it over here into view. So here's our box to unbox. Just arrived. In fact, this is, um, I bought this from uh, Models and Hobbies for You. Uh, they're based in Melbourne, Australia, Victoria. And me being in Sydney, um, I'm surprised I got this so quickly because I ordered this um, about lunchtime over the over the phone and on the internet because when I spoke to the guy, he, what happened was he posted a Facebook on their Facebook page of all this new stock coming in. There was a whole pile of stuff and amongst the list of the, all the boxes I saw was this model. I thought, oh, I want that. So I went to the website and looked at it and it said sold out. I thought, oh no, maybe it was the only, the two I saw in the photo, maybe they were, you know, put aside for people who had already ordered them. So I thought, oh, well, I'll give him a ring. Maybe I'll get lucky. So I ring him up and he spoke to me and says to me, oh, right now I'm just invoicing all that stuff and putting them all into the system. Oh, so I said, you've got this, the model? And he goes, yes, we do. He said, I'll dig up the invoice for it now and I'll update it on the website and you can order it. I said, oh, fantastic. So half an hour later, I checked the website, refreshed the page, and sure enough, there it was. So I bought it. So that was about midday on Friday. Um, it's now Tuesday morning and I get a message from the post office where I am that uh, I've got a package waiting. So it uh, it came quite quickly. Obviously, it came by air mail because there's a declaration there for it coming on air mail. So yeah, pretty good service there. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's open this up and have a look. Now I've never bought anything from this place before. Uh, Obviously well wrapped. I like how they put it, uh, just wrapped it in, in paper like this rather than putting a box, it in a box. Sometimes I don't understand why they put boxes in boxes. I mean, what difference is it going to make? I suppose it might make it leave a bit of extra protection, but not a huge amount. Alright, so see what we got here. Hobbies for you. Turn this over. Get rid of the paper. Oh, and it says, Models and Hobbies for you. I would like to thank you for shopping with me today. And it says something about, oh, it said 25 years anniversary for the shop. I didn't realize that which may explain why the price dropped when I refreshed the page for this. It was actually, um, the price was drop, dropped about 10% or so. All right, that's good. Let's um, move on. Well, it looks like they had done a bit of extra protection after all, and we've got a bit of cardboard wrapped around it. All right, look at this. Move the cardboard. Got a bit more tape over here. Sorry. Got that. Okay. Boom. Oh, yeah, we'll turn around so you can see. Alright, so there it is. We've got a bit of a dent in the box there, but that shouldn't be a problem. Probably is a good thing it did have that cardboard. So it has been crushed, I must admit. It does look like some it's taken some weight on the box there. And it's probably been hit that way. So maybe I would regret saying that the box is not packed in a box. Anyway, so we have the 144, or should I say, one 144 scale um, 
German submarine. It's the Type 11 by Ravel. Model number is 05078. This has the full interior, which is why I grabbed it, because there's not many like this. Um, what else does it say? It's 53 centimeters long, so it's just over half a meter long. And what else do we have on here? Okay, so we've got uh, some nice photographs of the interior sections here. Looks so, like where the missiles are, there's some engine room, or like the periscope area. Uh, another area there, there's the engine room there. That's going to be really fun detailing all that. Um, there's some statistics there, I'll have to turn it around so I can read it. Um, so on here we've got paint, looks like, dust grey, tank grey, brown, green detail. It's in German by the looks of it. Not sure what that's all about. Yeah, they're showing some colours there, but I don't know what they're for, but that's okay. Alright, so it says here, separate left outer hull wall giving a view into the interior. Detailed surface structures, detailed torpedo compartment, crew living quarters, detailed control room, uh, coning tower with internal structures. Um, so side of the, the side of the coning tower, as you can see in the picture there. Yeah, so you can see in there, but that'd be quite good too. Um, what else? Uh, diesel engines and electric motors, battery accumulator compartments, okay. Um, movable diving planes and hydroplanes, rotating twin AA gun turrets, right. Detailed fin superstructure with antenna, periscope with snort mask, mast, authentic decals for the U2540 with interior details. So, sounds good. Uh, on the end, same as the cover. It's the same. A lot more information on this side. Which we find something in English. So it was uh, 1945. The Type 11. Uh, Germany had the most advanced submarine in the world at that time. Uh, it was capable of unlimited underwater, underwater travel as its diesel engine drew in uh, the necessary fresh air through the special snort. Um, so it had like a snorkel. And this was all before the later, more modern um, submarines. Uh, this was something that the later model submarines took on the ideas from. Anyway, there's a lot of details here. Uh, noiseless electric motors by, for stealth. Two centimeter anti-aircraft gun turrets, which is, I've never seen that on a submarine before. As you can see, look at the turrets on there. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, views of the control room and living quarters of the crew give an impression of life underwater. And it says, de decals include details of the interior markings for the submarine that went into the service on the 24th of the 2nd, 1945. And today it's on display as a museum ship. All right, so let's open this up. These boxes are side opening. So we'll just do that. that. And, and by the way, it says skill level 4. And as far as I'm aware of the skill level, all that refers to is the parts number. And I don't know why it doesn't show the parts. It should show the parts number in here, but... Oh, we didn't look at the back. So on the back here, we've got some pictures of... They've got the Bismarck, the QE2. Uh, there's another submarine there. 
There's a Fantasy Cruise Ocean Liner. We've got the Turpets. And a container ship, Colombo Express. So there's some other ones. And there's their skill levels going all the way up. And that should explain. Uh, here we go. So all Revel kits are divided into five categories, making it easy for you to select the right one. One is easy, snap together, not requiring glue or paint. There we go. Two, simple kits with up to approximately 30 parts to glue and paint. Three, equals demanding models up to 100 parts. Four, kits up to 150 parts for more experienced models, which is this one. And difficult, five, models with over 150 parts requiring very high level of skill. There you go. Um, there's a photo of some photo etch accessories and some of their Revel products, paints and so forth. All right, about time we get over the box and have a look inside. All right, here. We've got everything else. There we go. All empty, all empty. Okay. So, instructions. We'll have a look at those shortly. I just wanted to check to see. And these bags are all in one piece. Um, everything looks all good. So I, going by the, the dents on the box, it doesn't look like anything's been harmed, but we'll go through all this. I think first thing we'll do is go through the instructions and then we'll have a look at the, um, the sprues and the, the plastic bits. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Okay, I'll just adjust my camera for it. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's go through this. So, um, sorry if I'm uh, a bit slow on this. It's just I'm reading this upside down so you can see it the right way up. The first thing I noticed here is it's printed by Ravel and it was printed in Poland, this manual. And the date was 2011, which puts this at 10 years ago. Um, this goes through a bit of the story of the ship um, that I mentioned before. Uh, then we've got um, safety advice, the usual. Okay, go over. Uh, more safety stuff, uh, how to use your different tools, how to cut pieces off sprues, how to paint, I guess. All right, so in here, looks like we've got stuff. Okay, so there's a good thing that this comes with. Again, this is dated 2012, so we've gone up one year, so it's at least nine years old now. Um, so there's all our signal flags, which is really handy to have. That'd be good to decorate, um, to put on our ship. We have here, um, I don't know what that is. Lots of writing here, lots of languages. Nothing in English there. Oh, safety advice. Uh, children under three, small parts, choking hazard. Um, yep, all the usual. That aside, no children here. So, now here, we have decals. Um, let's have a look at these. There's lots of decals. And they look really nice. And obviously, because we're doing the interior, Looks like we've got lots of um, different um, gauges and handles and um, doors and I was about to say windows, but it's a submarine, so we're not going to have windows here. <laughs> um, yeah, these look like the um, colours like for the hatchways through the compartments and put decals on there. We've got the boat, U-boat name. Good to see we've got depth. Markings for the submarine. 
and this looks like the sticker to go on the stand which it may include I'm not sure I'm sure it would uh, there's a flag there um, yeah very very good and close look at those yeah look at that that's gonna be fun with the detail in those they're really nice those aside okay so again uh, safety stuff oh this is the um, uh, the symbols as we go through so one needing glue not glue uh, wine there masking so forth so we know what they do here we have the color call out that we're going to be using now you'll notice there's a lot of colors because we're not just doing a, a grey submarine here, we've got to do all the interior. So just by quickly looking here, I can see that we've got um, we've got some browns, blues, reds, metallics, greys, um, silver. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of um, colours because a lot of the interior is going to be done. It's great. All right, so. So on this page we have all the sprues and all our parts and I don't think it tells us how many, oh will it, let me just check. So we've got, they're all numbered, 80, 103, it looks like I can see the highest number there just by quickly looking at it, is there's a piece numbered 103. Um, so yeah, it looks like there's just over a hundred parts to this. And then we go on to part one. Page one, well actually it's page five, step one. And it's going what looks like, okay, so there's a mechanical uh, setup you've got to build for the rudders, which will move inside the hull. So just remember, I'm seeing this the first time as well as you are. And so forgive me if I don't know what some parts are, particularly this being a submarine that I'm not too familiar with. Um, or having said that, I've built three submarines, but anyway. So that's the mechanical parts of those planes, hydroplanes, looks like they go first. There's putting them together. There's, uh, that that looks like not sure not sure looks like they're like more sort of planes oh under the back okay so the, the um, screws or propellers whichever you want to call them I'm guessing it'd be a screw and a submarine they connect onto these and then they connect onto the side of the hull and then we go into building the stand okay. So it's good that they got building the stand because being a submarine and the shape of the submarine it's literally impossible to set it down anywhere without it rolling over <laughs> so you can work on your submarine while it's on the stand in most cases um, particularly if you've already put on the um, the screws and the hydroplanes and these rudders which will be sticking out okay so we're over the page Page six starts with step nine, which again is showing. Okay, so there seems to be there's little marks on the hull where the stand will actually anchor itself. So that's good. There's lots of pieces there. I don't know what that is. They look like decals actually. So already inside the hull, we'll be placing the decals. So. Obviously that'll have to be after we paint um, to do that. And then down here on step 11, and it's showing step 10. So that's good. So step 10 is here, uh, and it's showing you step nine. So it's good how it's referring back to the other steps. So in step 11, you can see, see that section of step 10, but that was the part you were working on. Here looks like we're putting the deck down on top already. There's some control panel of some sort there. 13. This looks part of the coning tower, I think. 
Ah, no. Now we're, we're starting. We're not sure what that one there is, but this looks like a turret. Yep, this is building up one of the two turrets on the top, or both of the turrets, actually. And we'll cross over the page again. So that's the, uh, the snorkel, as I call it. They called it a, what was it? I don't know, something else. Um, for the exhaust, for the diesel engines, and the periscope is there as well. There we go, same thing across here. There's a question mark, which might make it optional how you want to do that. Um, yeah, not sure. There's more here. I'm interested to see what these clocks mean here. I'm just quickly checking the, the symbol to see what that comes up and says it is. Okay, there that is there. Let me just turn this around. I can't speak German. Ah, allow the parts to dry. Really, that's interesting. So this clock is telling you how long to leave parts to dry. I think that they're all the same. Okay, so they're telling, they're not exactly saying, oh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes, but they're actually saying, um, before you move on to the next step, make sure these parts are dry. Uh, that's, that's different, I've not seen that before. Oh, we're moving on here to some structures, probably some supports inside the hull. Um, that may be torpedo tubes, not sure there. Looks like it, yep, there's torpedo tubes going in. Uh, yeah, probably the, the frames for the torpedo tubes. Into up to 28, step 28 already. We're only halfway through the book. Um, step 29 is uh, more of the compartments inside, which is the looks like the torpedo room, as they're all getting put in the brackets uh, and supports for the racks. Uh, moving on, looks like hatchways and the dividers between each section. There's a couple there, and there's some of the details going on there. Um, moving on to uh, the beds, the bunks, the crew quarters, it looks like. All the bunks going on there. Uh, it's quite good detail too, I noticed in the picture. We'll have a look after. You can actually see, you could do like the, the blankets and the pillows on the on the bunks. Really nice. Um, they're up to 32 now and we're doing, we're building up those bunk beds. Uh, here we're joining um, the two modules together from the torpedo room to the crew quarters. Now I have done a little bit of research and found that you can build this whole interior separately and then place it inside. So you don't have to have it, build it inside the submarine stage by stage. So you can do all this stuff separately, work on it and then place it all in, which make painting a lot easier. Here we've got lots of decals going on. It's showing, I think all these numbers would be decals. I'm going by the decal reference here. Uh, yes, that is telling us which decals and where they go, which is great. More decals, but most of them seem to be going on um, the hatchways between the sections of the sub. Up here, got more going ladders in there. Not sure what that is. That looks like periscope. Yep, there's periscope and all that control room area there. Uh, that's good, they're even giving uh, colour call-outs as we go through as well. Um, yeah, so the little marks with, in the, with the triangles there, those little flag marks are the colours, paint them. Uh, bunks, must be another section of bunks. Interesting. Batteries, these are the batteries that run, operate, system operates on the, the submarine. So all that battery compartment. Uh, putting all that in, moving along, step 44, and we go over the page again, we've got, uh, what's that, not sure what that part is, oh that's the engine room, okay so they're like the drive shafts for the, um, I keep thinking propellers but I should be, I have to kick myself every time and keep saying the screws. So they're the drive shafts for the screws. We're working through the engine room here. 
There's the engine. Again, showing the color call outs. Do some really good detail work on this engine. Get some oil stains going and all sorts of stuff. So that's all the engine room. Over here, not sure what all of this is. Ah, oh, twine? Don't know. But there's definitely stuff we've got to cut. Okay, not sure what that will be. And here we go, this looks like this is the clear section. Or there may be an option to have a part that's not clear and have it all sealed up. We'll check that when we go through the pieces. And here we are here with um, putting the whole interior in as one piece and then putting the outside of the hull on top like that. And that's in step 54. And then of course step 55 brings us to um, the painting. We've got uh, colors for here, color for up on the top, toning tower. We've got twine here for the um, it looks like the uh, fences, uh, like the chain, uh, oh god, what's the word? Anyway, the lines that run across aerials, I guess they are, and the um, handrails, that's what I was trying to say. We've got all the handrails and stuff along there. Um, whether I would use um, easy line or that may not be thick enough might use stretch sprue uh, we'll see what the options are for the railings along this um and that's it 55 steps wow okay well i'll be back in a sec i'll put this stuff aside and we'll open up these bags and have a look at some of this plastic stuff okay welcome back again let's have a look at our plastic here um not this bag what we've got so well that's a good thing so they're not all just thrown in one bag we've actually got bags inside bags so that's a bit of extra protection here all right now there might be a date on this uh I don't know if that's accurate. It does say copyright Ravel and it says 1992. So that puts it as quite an age. Okay, so I do want to open this up. Let's let's open this bag up. So, wow, this looks nice. So there's some really nice detail on here. As you can see, all this is open, so we can look inside. Um, it does seem I can't see. There's no option to have it closed, so it's only it's only going to be open. No, that's all right. Um, there's lots and lots of detail on here with patchways vents and uh, where all the water comes out that washes up on deck and so forth there's quite a lot of detail looks really nice see that in making the building this and putting it together probably a few holes need to be made um, whether we can get these sections here which again are um, areas where water comes out of um, they may be able to be opened up somehow um, this one here too some nice detail looks quite good very clean the lines are nice the inside too is uh, interesting so 
as you can see here there's there's a section here where we can see lots of piping and details on that back which will probably be a, a back rear wall get that to focus come on yeah you can see the detail in there that and there we go see where that light shining through all that a lot of detail in there that'll be the back wall of a, one of the compartments um, that's the only detailing there's nothing else on anywhere else along here um, so these go together by pretty much there's just these little um, what would you say little knobs there that will go into the holes on the other side so it should be a nice uh, simple neat fit uh, okay. and like I said 53 centimeters long so it's going to be quite a nice big uh, display when she's done she I guess they called submarines be like they did ships all right let's have a look in the next bag There's this one now this looks like the deck now there's some nice detail in the deck there see that there we go lots of nice detail i'll have to go through and find some reference photos um i doesn't look like going by this it had uh, any wood on the um, deck area but I have seen some photos of this submarine that did actually looks like it does have wood but we'll have to look up that look that up here's the coning tower so you can see there's one side of it and this is the other side with the open section you can see through so that'll be interesting be able to look inside there and and see uh, the whole interior there uh, there's these um, hydroplanes that stick out with the screws the screws will connect to we also have the stand here it looks like the braces for the stand that looks like the stand there and there's a, a spot there for the decal that tells you uh, the submarine it is so that that'll be nice on the display there um, there's your props Ah, props screws right there we'll just get that out of the way because that's good so there's your screws in there uh, some other piece oh that looks like rudders yep the rudders there some more there um, this is probably something <laughs> I'm sure it's something but uh, looks like turrets there yes uh, there's the two turrets that go up on either side of the coning tower um, and there's our periscopes and our exhausts snorkels and a few other bits and pieces these look like um, gun barrels oh yes there we go so here we've got the and that looks like a bit of damage there that's a problem with those two or is it just oh no that's just flashing okay so they'll need to be trimmed up a little bit it's a bit of flare the flash on that as you can see at first looking at them the wrong way around i thought oh look they're all bent and warped and, but they're not there they're okay all right so otherwise otherwise it all looks quite good now um i need to check if there's any aftermarket whether there's a deck or any aftermarket products for this but i don't think there is and if there is, it's probably hard to find. Um, let alone get. Yeah, that looks looks good. All right, so we'll move on to the next piece. With our bag here. We've got another bag. And oh, by the way, the cost of this was only uh, sixty dollars. I think it may have even been less. 
Um, it may have only been $50 Australian. I'll put up the conversion up on the screen here into pounds, uh, US dollars, and um, leprechaun uh, shillings. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah. Move that aside. It's good. We'll open up this one. What I'm finding is, I don't know how old this is or how long it's been packed, but the way this is taped and how easily this tape is coming off, it's like it hasn't been packed for that long. Interesting. Okay, so there's two sprues in here. We'll take them both out. We'll have a look at... They, they are different sprues, so... Let's have a look at this one first. Okay, so... What have we got here? Ah, okay, of course. I, I have to remember we're doing the interiors here. So, what we got here is the floor. This looks like some floor area. This looks like part of the floor of the engine room. Another part here, which may also be part of the engine room. These look like the batteries. Definitely those batteries all lined up there. Um, looks like some wall paneling. More, more panels there. There's a, a very detailed panel there with all sorts of stuff on that if you can see look at that yeah look at all the detail in that isn't that nice absolutely beautiful we've got uh, more whatever that is I don't know there's piping there's little panels looks like some engine room pipes there uh, we go over here more probably another floor area um, then the engine itself let's look at that so there's our big engine there don't know what size it was um, going by the look of it, it looks like six cylinders but hey how would I know although I am counting six round bits there <laughs> more batteries it looks like um, some other boxes sections very clean everything's very clean there's no no flashing on here at all there's no um, pin marks everything's nice very nice oh, I just realized look at that so so this is one of the entryways probably between the sections that the, the crew go through and look at the detail on those so look at that see the detail in that all the bits and pieces on that boy that's going to be fun trying to paint <laughs> there's, there's the other side of that doorway all the detail on there as well okay that's that one uh, these are numbered or lettered, I think. Have a look. I don't think the sprues are... Oh yes, that's D sprue. Okay, makes sense. So this is C sprue. So on this one... Right. Uh, more batteries. And more batteries. I guess this took a lot of batteries that must must have been a lot of big uh, percentage of the weight too we've got all these which i'm not sure what they are there's some ladders there which look good are they okay there's some uh hatch tops which i think if i remember from a submarine i did once before they go up on a deck somewhere um, there's our missiles missiles torpedoes <laughs> I don't think they had missiles in these days it's a bit early for that but there's our torpedoes 
they're all ready to slide on the rack. Got another floor area there. Here we've got this looks like the periscope uh, inside the cone tower. So detail on that. Focus for me. Come on, camera. Focus. Focus, camera. There we go. So there's a lot of detail on the on the side of those. It's really good. I'm going to have to get myself a really fine paintbrush. More pi piping and and bits and pieces on that piece of the panel. Uh, more and more on those. This looks like the racks for the torpedoes. Again, nice detail on them as well. Maybe another floor section. There's another hatch entry between each module of inside. More detail on it. That, no idea what that is. Definitely no detail on that at all. These parts here, not sure of. I'm guessing that would be somewhere in the front where the missiles launch out of. I'm really guessing there. I don't know what that is. Well, it's obviously some area. Look at the detail on the inside of that. And all sorts of pipes and gauges and all sorts of things on that. Looks really nice. Uh, oh well, here we go. So, here we go. That's inside. So that's why the other side had no detail, but the inside of that has there's, there's lots of um, stuff on there as well. Um, amongst here we've got pipes. Lots of pipes. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's our submarine. Alright, let me put that aside. Let me get my camera organised. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so... That is our box opening of the German submarine type 11 with interior. Um, it's available for about $50. Well, I bought it for about $50 Australian. As far as I can check, um, it's no longer anywhere available in any of the retail stores I can find in Australia. Um, uh, Scalemates has it listed. There is an aftermarket photo etch uh, set for it, um, but there's no wooden deck. It never did have a wooden deck, and that photo etch would be like trying to find hen's teeth. Uh, very rare, so I'm not going to bother. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, this will be on my build list shortly i'm looking forward to putting this together and uh, if you'd like to uh, watch this build come together uh, depending on when you're watching this video i may have already done it you can go back through my playlists and see this uh, model being built um, have a look at the unboxing like you've just seen and uh, maybe it's something you'd be interested in. I don't know what your chances are of finding the model, but uh, who knows, maybe somewhere overseas it's available. So if you'd like to um, put your comments below what you think of this model, uh, if you have any questions, maybe you've built this. If you've built this, um, you might have some tips and uh, ideas or uh, something that you've come across during the build that, that um, uh, might find useful to know comments are always welcome uh, please subscribe if you haven't already uh, you can go back and look at all my other builds and box openings and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and thank you all for watching until next time bye for now cheers <laughs>